feel like it's crazy that we have an elementary school in our neighborhood. We have a high school right across the street and then the kids are all the way at a school in Brander Mill, which is with the traffic in this area that has gotten increasingly worse over the years. Mm -hmm. It's far. Mother Ariel Cummins will have a daughter in middle school by the time a now under construction West Area Middle opens in August of 2025. Oh, there you go. <laughs> the yet to be named school is much closer to the explosive growth in the southwestern corner of the county, but it's also nearly double the size of an average middle school. Many people get criticized all the time that they build a school and they immediately have to put trailers on it. I don't want to do that. I've always advocated let's build a school big enough to handle the capacity that we're going to have for not just the day we open it, but future years. The school board will rezone its 13 districts when construction is complete, likely pulling students from an overcrowded Tomahawk Creek Middle and Bailey Bridge Middle. The Board of Supervisors say the $95 million price tag is worth the peace of mind in having a three-story building. It takes more money to heat and cool those buildings. So, And it's also, from a security standpoint, easier to lock up these buildings and make sure that they're safe for people. So I, I think that's a big aspect of this too. And I think between environmental peace and the security piece, this is what you're gonna start seeing more of in the county. While residents in this booming Hull Street and Otterdale area are glad to see progress at the site, they will still be watching the board closely for academic results. I feel like it's a lot to manage, like for an administration. Um, so I would, I would wonder, you know, are they gonna have two principals for the building or are they going to have how many assistant principals are they going to have like to help run this thing at that age level with that many kids in the building.